Hey, I've just showed up at one of my bee yards to do a little bit of work and I thought I'd make a quick video today about something I'm asked about fairly often. Uh, why I never wear gloves and maybe why you shouldn't either. Maybe a little bit about what I wear in general and how I work the bees while I do it. So I'm just here for one real reason today. In a bunch of these single boxes I've got some nukes that I made up with queen cells a couple weeks ago. So I'm here to check on the queens and that's one of the biggest reasons that I don't wear gloves is because I handle a lot of queens um, and I mark them with markers so I need dexterity. So these are nukes that I made on my own um, with queen cells. So I grafted my own queens, raised cells in cell builder colonies and introduced queen cells to these about two weeks ago. And so I'm looking now to find the new queens laying eggs and that's what's going on in this hive now um, so there's a queen running around right here and this is what I do with um, with my own queens I always find find my queens as early as I can uh, and I actually mark them all so that I know what year they were raised and uh, they're easier to find the next time. So this year yellow is our queen color. So I have a paint marker okay and it's just a little dot on her thorax like that. So hopefully you can see that. And then I usually put a queen in a cage just for a few minutes to let that paint marker dry on that queen. Eggs and larvae in this frame. It looks really good. Bees are filling this with honey. This was an empty frame outside of that. Let's see what's out here. Lots of pollen, honey. So it's a really small colony. Um, they're just getting started, but they've got a brand new queen now, and they're going to hopefully grow pretty quickly here in the summer. So hopefully that paint is dry on her now, and I'll just release her like that. Okay, I'm into another one here, and this queen has just started laying. There's just some eggs on one frame here. This is our new queen here. Let's see what it looks like on this side. Okay, and she's laid quite a bit of eggs on that side. There's actually some larvae too. So she's going well. I'm going to mark her. So you could imagine trying to do this with gloves is nearly impossible. You need a steady hand. Okay, and after a minute, hopefully that paint's got a chance to dry, and we release this queen. And down she goes. So it's easy 
enough to say that I don't wear gloves with those little nucleus colonies um, because generally smaller colonies are easier to work with because there's fewer bees and the bees are younger so they're not as aggressive or defensive sometimes. But what about colonies like this? When they're stacked right up, it can be a bit intimidating to go into them in a t-shirt and gloves, but it's just all about not necessarily working slowly, but working carefully. And using your smoker uh, between each box as you take them off, using it to calm down the bees and sort of move the bees out of your way so you're not accidentally crushing bees and making them angry that way. Because it's all about getting down to this bottom box where my queen is, um, because that's where beekeeping happens. It's not just about stacking up boxes. We got to get down here and take a look at what's going on. So I'll tear this colony apart down to the brood chamber and show you how I do that. Okay, you can tell my top two honey supers were really full. This last one I just put on the middle of last week. Um, I just put it on maybe five or six days ago, so they haven't really filled that up yet, but there is strong honey flow on, and they are putting quite a bit of honey into it. So just carefully, when I cracked every box, I put some smoke in between them. It moves the bees away from where my hands are, and I can get to them pretty easily. Uh, now I'm down at the brood chamber here and a little bit of smoke on the top bar. See it makes the bees go down away from where your hands are and then you can more easily grab frames out that way. Okay now that I checked on this colony everything looks good down below and I can, um, I can put it back together sort of the same way that I took it apart. Put your queen excluder on first. Try to be careful not to squish too many bees. If you are worried about um, working your bees, these big populated colonies, and getting your hands right in there, if you're worried about getting stung, um, I'd recommend maybe you start by switching to this type of glove right here, like a nitrile rubber glove. Um, when you put these on, you'll still have quite a bit of dexterity. Um, you can still feel find things, you can probably feel bees underneath your fingers if you're about to squish them. So that's the biggest problem with the big leather gloves. People start grabbing frames and not knowing what's underneath their hands. They're squishing bees, they're making more bees angry, um, you know, then it becomes a situation where there's lots of angry bees flying around and people feel even more uncomfortable around their bees. So if you can be just really cautious about where your fingers are going, switch to a glove like this. These can 
They generally won't stop stings. The bees still can sting through them if they really try, but they may slow the bee down. You may be able to pinch that bee before it really penetrates this glove and stings you. So these are a good option. If you're really worried about it and you need to switch off your leather gloves, these can be a in-between step. They also keep your hands clean. Um, as I usually have, you know, perpetually dirty fingernails. If I wore these gloves all the time, uh, they'd keep my hands a lot cleaner from propolis and wax getting stuck to them all the time. All right, so the one thing that I didn't really talk about in the bee yard is genetics. And it definitely plays a part in how your bees act, how defensive and calm they might be um, depends on their genetics. So I, don't, I definitely don't claim to have the most um, most calm and easy to work with bees out there. I'd say mine are sort of good to average. I've definitely worked with bees that are a lot more calm and you can do anything around them and you'll almost never get stung um, relative to mine. But um, the bees don't have to be perfect for you to work barehanded as long as you act calm and um, in control and careful about you know how you raise and lower frames and how you set down boxes um, that all matters a lot too in how the bees react so if you're if you've got a little bit of experience under your belt but you're still wearing gloves I strongly recommend you consider getting rid of them and I think you'll be a, a better beekeeper in the long run because of it I just made this in an afternoon here but if you liked it um, check out some of my other videos subscribe leave a comment what you'd like to see in the future and thanks for watching